Working. Working. Status check for continuing the countdown. Umbilical retract. Go. Atlas LO2. Go. Atlas propulsion. Go. Atlas hydraulics. Go. Atlas pneumatics. Go. Centaur engine chill. Go. Centaur pneumatics. Go. Centaur LO2. Go. Centaur LH2. Go. Has gas systems. Go. Airborne electrical. Go. RFFTS. Go. Flight control. Go. Instrumentation. Go. Communications. Go. GCQ. Go. Ground electrical. Go. Facility electrical. Go. Environmental control system. Go. Red line monitor. Go. Range weather and range ready to proceed. Go. Quality engineer. Go. Operation safety manager. Go. Atlas safety officer. Go. Launch director. Go. Mission director. Mission director is go. Proceeding with the count. Stable at step three. Thirty. Twenty-five. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Twenty. Fifteen. This is Atlas Mission Control at T-minus ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Atlas engine ignition, zero, Please. and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying DMSP F-18 for the United States Air Force. This marks the first Atlas V West Coast launch for the United States Air Force. You'll now be hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data throughout the flight. Operating level on the engine. Everything is operating normally. Continuing an open loop PU control as expected. We are now 2.3 miles in altitude, 1.4 nautical miles downrange, traveling at almost 1,000 miles per hour. And closed loop control has been started on booster PU. Engine continues to operate 100% thrust as expected. Mach 1, vehicle is supersonic, approaching max Q, engine continuing to operate normally. And we are throttled down to 95% right on time. We are now 8.5 nautical miles in altitude, 3.1 nautical miles downrange, traveling at 1,300 miles per hour. Vehicle parameters continue to look good. Seeing normal flight control disturbances. Engines operating as expected, 95%. Coming up on 130 seconds into the flight, everything looking good. And the vehicle now weighs one half of its liftoff weight and continues to operate normally. Coming up on firing power valves to pressurize the center reaction control system and valves have gone off. System pressurizing as expected. Everything is looking good. Next mark event we're looking for is throttling down to 92%. Coming up in 15 seconds. And everything is looking good. This vehicle is celebrating the 50th anniversary of Atlas launches on Vandenberg Air Force Base. And we have throttled down to 92%.
right as expected. Approaching four, a little over four Gs in acceleration. We are 50 nautical miles in altitude, 69 nautical miles downrange, traveling at 6,400 miles per hour. Everything continues to look good. We are now less than a quarter of the weight at liftoff, starting our 5G throttle segment. Everything is expected there. And Boost Space Jill Down has been in operation right on time, coming up on main engine cutoff. And we have cut off. Everything looking good there. We have stage separation. Good extensiometers. We have pre-start on locks and fuel. Coming up on first part, ignition. And full thrust. Main engine is up and running normally. Everything looking good. Coming up on fairing jettison. And both brake wires indicate a successful jettison of the fairing. Everything looking good so far. Start transient in the RL-10. Perfect. Perfectly normal. Everything looking good there. We have gone to fixed angles on PU. Engine operating parameters look good. We are seeing the expected activity on the hydrazine system to condition the thrusters. And we're seeing some dropouts in telemetry. Data has returned. Just under 10 seconds to Miko 1. Uh, experiencing another dropout at this time. And we should have hit Miko 1, waiting to require data to confirm. And we're continuing to see a data dropout. Continuing to see a data dropout uh, nominally, we should be proceeding into our post-MECO sequence, and we have data back. We do show the engine has shut down. We are seeing normal reaction control system activity. This is Atlas Mission Control at all plus 16 minutes, 28 seconds into the flight. And you heard a few moments ago, we've confirmed that we had main engine cutoff number one. We're 91 seconds away from space vehicle separation. Uh, the mission is continuing as planned. Uh, um, all the mark events occurring as expected. Everything continues to proceed normally as the vehicle continues to do a sequence to a nominal spacecraft separation time. One minute to spacecraft sep. We're seeing normal reactor control system activity. 48 seconds away from space vehicle separation. Pressurizing the Centaur propellant tanks as expected. Preparation for our post sept demos. Thirty seconds to spacecraft set. Ten seconds, spacecraft separation. Ready to separate discrete have been sent and spacecraft separation. Both brake wires indicate nominal spacecraft separation.